What if we used the sea to diversify the stock of available biofuels? This car drives on a mix of fuel made out of seaweed. Researchers are developing a process that is environmentally friendly, but also, and this is the tough part, financially viable. This ordinary car is used to test the seaweed fuel, what scientists call a third-generation biofuel, said to be a sustainable alternative to fossil fuels. These scientists have filled the tank with 10% seaweed fuel, the rest with petrol, and compared the performances with gas station fuels. The emission we measure is uh, CO, CO2 and NOx, and additionally we are measuring the particulate emissions from the car. The emission test we got from the seaweed fuel is on exactly the same level as what we get from the reference fuel. Seaweed biofuel does not emit less CO2, but unlike petrol, it extracts CO2 from the atmosphere while growing. The researchers plan to increase the portion in the engine tank, convinced that we will switch to biofuels in the upcoming years. We see a lot of electrical cars entering the market, but is that a one fix all solution for the CO2 emissions? Because we have Heavy-duty transport, we have ships, we have aeroplanes, still consuming large amount of fossil fuels. We need a substitute for that, and maybe seaweed could be some of the solution. Why is seaweed sustainable? First, because it grows everywhere. It only needs sun and sea, which covers 70% of our planet. Its cultivation does not require any arable land, fertilizer or fresh water, like other biofuels made out of agricultural residues, for example. But how can the new fuel be produced on an industrial scale? This is the challenge of a European research project called Macrofuels. In this laboratory in the Netherlands, scientists are searching for the best way to convert seaweed sugars into fuels. In the long term, they would produce tons of ethanol and butanol barrels, still following a rather basic process. Yeah, first we take seaweed and then we use a water to get the sugars out with some enzymes or acid and then you get a sugar solution and just like you produce wine or beer you ferment it to ethanol or butanol and then you blend that with normal gasoline or diesel to produce E10 and you drive your car on it. More biofuel production means more seaweed biomass. Here are the seaweed farms installed during the project. Thanks to economies of scale and mechanisation, researchers hope to cut the fuel production costs by 100%. Together with commercialising other seaweed products, this could make fuels economically feasible in the future. Uh, when we started the project a couple of years ago, we are working with square metres. Today we are doing hectares, and in the near future we will go into the square kilometre range. Today, the price of a litre of seaweed-based biofuel is, is way too high. Uh, probably a hundred times more expensive than traditional fuels. But when the scale will go up, the price will go down and we will get into a range where we are competitive with traditional fuels. Based on the example of the wind sector, the scientists estimate that they will take around 25 years for the technology to be profitable on a very large scale. <laughs>